what's good guys welcome back to lion mark tv so this one is coming all the way from abia state and it's coming directly from uh, ben carlo the deputy house of assembly house of representative member we all know he is um one of one for ndibo you know fully represented always standing tall placing the right points for the people the good people of the south east past, part, part of nigeria so this one you could see the governor alex Oti was there as he was given the title of the any abia one anyway this is a highlight coming from that one don't forget to subscribe if you are new here drop a comment below I would first of all like to call on Mr. Kalu from Nigeria. Madam Speaker, Madam Chair, Your Excellencies, various speakers from various nations, honorable colleagues. My name is Mr. Carlo from Nigeria as the Deputy Speaker of the Parliament of Nigeria. This morning I want to leave a question in our heart. And that question is nothing but this. How come when COVID struck, all of us as one global community came together to find a solution? How come when we watch soccer and other forms of sports, we forget the boundaries, the divisions, those things that separate us from one another? Why can't we apply that when it comes to peace around the world? Why can't we join our hands together the same way we fought COVID? We can fight against these divisions and these wars around the nation. For everywhere you have a piece of war in any nation, that is a war against humanity everywhere. I bring you greetings from the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Nigeria is a nation that has first-hand experience of conflict and instability is deeply committed to the team of the 147th Assembly of the Interparliamentary Union, the IPU. Parliamentary Action for Peace, Justice, and Strong Institutions, the SDG 16. Nigeria's position and contribution to the debate are informed by its history.
peace is not the absence of violence. Peace is the manifestation of human understanding and compassion and called on justice and strong institutions engendered by national parliaments and world bodies such as the IPO. What is the reason for the existence of a nation state with various arms of government? By extension, why do we have in existence institutions such as the IPU, the United Nations, and other national and international bodies? These bodies exist for the welfare and security of the citizens. When peace and justice are absent, it presupposes the failure of the purpose of government and the associated institutions leading to skepticisms and lack of trust by the people. The violence we have witnessed in the Sudan, where the absence of self-counsel and wisdom has led to utter destruction of the nation itself, and more recently, the avoidable devastation of lives and property in Ukraine, Israel, and Gaza. Leaders do not look for who to blame. Leaders find solutions, and this we must do. In addition, threats to dem democracy in Africa seen in recent coups in some African countries must be addressed, especially the underlying causative factors. Nigeria has experienced a number of challenges in recent years, including the insurgency in the Northeast, environmental degradation and underdevelopment in the Niger Delta, and agitation in the Southeast. To address these problems, proactive steps have been taken for the enactment of Northeast Development Commission Niger Delta Development Commission with other bills coming from the parliament, including the North and uh, the Southeast Development Commission that is a work in progress as we speak. The National Assembly has also passed the Petroleum Industry Act, which reformed the Nigerian oil and gas sector. The PIA is expected to promote transparency and accountability in the sector, strengthen the institutional framework, and attract investment. As a parliament representing the people, we devoted ample time in ensuring the improvement of our Electoral Act amended in 2022 to enable the integrity of the electoral process through technology which has led to the reduction of post-election crisis. In response to the Partnership for Climate Action, Nigeria passed the Climate Change Act meant to ensure the global standards are met. To live up to the spirit and letter of our dream on climate change, developed countries must come to the assistance of Africa who are at the receiving end of climate change. To ensure inclusion, the Nigerian Parliament passed the Federal Character Commission Act for the better management of our diversity. This legislation minimizes dominance and ensures nobody is left behind. It is often said the justice delayed is justice denied. To ensure the speedy dispensation of justice, the Nigerian Who Criminal Justice in Act, in conclusion, as representatives, we must come to a clear understanding that parliamentary action on peace and justice through strong institution cannot come as a matter of wish. It is desirable. Institutions are not strong for the sake of being strong. Their strength is measured through visible outcomes. When nations are at peace, there is justice for all, and nobody is left behind economically and socially. People go to the moon not because it is easy. It requires courage. Let us have the courage to work for the better outcome for the people we represent. Thank you. And God bless all of us. Merci, monsieur. Thank you.